now Senator Ed Markey. He's a Democrat. He serves on the Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, well, you. what's your reaction? Did the president make the right call by scrapping this summit? Uh, this is really unfortunate. Um, just three weeks from the summit, um, what we were seeing is um, escalating rhetoric over the last couple of weeks. John Bolton started it by uh, commenting that they were looking for the Libyan model, which meant that Gaddafi, at the end of that scenario, wound up dead after he had given up his nuclear program. Um, Vice President Pence then began talking about the same kind of a scenario on Monday. Uh, that elicited a response yesterday from high-ranking uh, North Korean uh, foreign affairs officials, uh, which then led uh, to this collapse today. Uh, all of this was avoidable. Okay? This rhetoric that John Bolton was engaging in uh, was something that the president should have just put a damper on immediately. Uh, we should have been trying to have more confidence building measures that we were putting in place. Uh, and instead, it just deteriorated and very quickly and the president pulled out. Now, we don't know what the president's motives are uh, for pulling out. Perhaps uh, he came to the conclusion that the definition of denuclearization would not be agreed upon uh, between Kim and himself. We really don't know. But the sad fact of the matter is, is that the world was the big loser today um, because there was great hopes uh, that this summit could begin a pathway uh, towards uh, reconciliation on the, on the Korean Peninsula. Should the president try uh, for another summit? Uh, absolutely. Um, we have to just re-intensify uh, our diplomatic engagement. Uh, we should stiffen. Um, even further uh, economic sanctions on uh, North Korea. There's still a lot more that we can do, especially crude oil. Um, and we should even deepen our partnership uh, with the South Koreans and Japanese uh, in terms of regional cooperation on these issues. So we should not take this as the final no. Uh, we should have a process that we put in place uh, as immediately as possible uh, in order to put a, dip a diplomatic uh, pathway uh, uh, back into motion because the military option, which the president talked about today, uh, is not a solution. It will become catastrophic very quickly. And so, yes, we do need to go back to the table and uh, as soon as possible. In recent days, as you know, Senator, uh, President Trump seemed to be suggesting that China had a role in changing the North Korean attitude toward uh, the summit. Uh, do you think the Chinese leadership, President Xi, who's not met twice with Kim Jong-un, uh, do, you, do you believe he sabotaged this meeting? Um, I don't know the extent to which Xi may or may not want this summit to take place. I do know that at least um, the ostensible justification, which um, the Trump White House is using, uh, is the statement that was made uh, by the North Korean uh, foreign policy official just yesterday. And that all referred to uh, this whole question of Libya and Gaddafi as a model uh, for the denuclearization of North Korea. And that's just a non-starter. Okay? And, and I ultimately would put more of the blame upon this escalatory uh, rhetoric because we had moved really from fire and fury uh, to talking about trying to resolve the issues. And then today, the president goes right back to bragging about our nuclear arsenal uh, and his potential uh, for using it if necessary. And that just does not contribute to the kind of atmospheric that we're looking for in order to get a res resolution of these uh, critical issues. Finally, uh, Senator, before I let you go, a very different subject. The president's legal team and the special counsel, Robert Mueller, uh, his team, they discussed a possible date for an interview with the president uh, back uh, January 27th of this year, five hours, Camp David, Maryland, uh, before all those negotiations stalled. This is CNN's reporting. Uh, do you believe that interview will ever happen? Uh, I think only Donald Trump's lawyers and Donald Trump himself knows the answer to that question. Uh, it is the only way, ultimately, to bring uh, this investigation to a conclusion. The president will have to answer the questions of what he knew and when he knew it. And when he is able to give that interview, give definitive answers, then we're able to talk about the conclusion of the investigation. But he keeps throwing out these red herrings, uh, accusing the FBI of 
uh, investigating his campaign last year. Uh, we're going to need an aquarium. There are going to be so many political red herrings the president throws out. But it's all to avoid him ultimately doing this interview, which is going to be the necessary precondition to bringing the investigation to a conclusion. Senator Markey, thanks for joining us.